So always uh, do your lye in the sink. Oops. So right now he's just putting it in the sink. He's not using it yet. So over in this container, he's got um, 24 ice cubes of goat milk. When you open this up, though, it'll be in a little clump. Just mm -hmm. kind of shake it a little bit to, to break up the clump. Don't inhale the dust. You, you see this mask has a respirator on the front, mm -hmm. the normal dust masks don't, <laughs> they don't do enough to keep the fumes off you. I feed with that, that right there. Really? With yeah. this? Yeah. I buy them off of uh, Zorro. All right, check again, 248. You always check twice, when you do twice before you cut. It's hard to get the stuff back in the bottle. Yeah. You have to add the lye to the ice cubes slowly so it doesn't scorch the sugars in the goat milk uh -huh. and turn it all brown and stinky. So that's why we start this first because this takes a while. Sorry guys, that's my brother. He's picking up my banner from the banner people. Spring a little in, let it do its job. It'll get soft, mix it around. This might take a half an hour to get. Oh, how much do you want to charge me for the disc? Oh, well, all right. Which one? One tablespoon of carrier oil to one teaspoon of colorant. Okay. Teaspoons of the one to me. Okay, but that's. You didn't um, get that on tape, did you? Hmm? Uh -huh. What? <laughs> so three, two. Three. The audio on this side. Handle it. <laughs> He's like, nope. I'm gonna show you. All right. Before you stick that fun thing in there and start blasting away, you have to make sure that all of that fine powder is submerged underneath the oil. Because if you stuck that in there right now, you would your face would be poof, poof. You would be a Smurf. No, you would be uh, what's that dinosaur's name? Barney. Barney. You Barney. would be Barney. <laughs> oh, so with the with this thing, don't push this button up here. Just put that oh, cooped up in there, really nice. Beautiful. All right. Now, these bowls are not actually technically deep enough for what we're going to do, so you might get a little bit of splash. Cheaper. Mm -hmm. And scents. Um, we're trying, we're going to try to do this new place called um, uh, Wellington. Yeah. Wellington. I'm right. like pretty excited myself. You having Ooh. fun with that thing over there? All right, you want to you let somebody else do the white? Okay. We've got a, we've got another Are you seriously you on your phone? I'm trying to you need that we have to clean this off, but really, go light to dark and then you won't have to do this yeah, that makes sense. every time. Hmm. Light to dark. That makes total sense. Yes. Just until you can't see clumps in it anymore. Um, what color purple do you have? And then you tear it each side. Mm -hmm. Oh, very cool. Much less messy. And one of these, and just like that, I overshot it. By what? That by two. Two grams? I overshot it by two grams. Or five grams, seven grams. Alrighty. So we are done with the coconut. And somebody can mark that one off the list. And then we'll go down to the next oil. Check coconut off. And then coconut needs to get from work. To get too warm. Can you find it on the internet? Oh, I'm going to show you we're gonna exactly where to find this different. on the internet. And now on the fragrances, I just do ounces mm. because it's just D different reference easier. material will tell you to heat the oils up to different mm -hmm. temperatures. Um, okay. This reaction will happen at a lower temperature, but it will take longer. What are the different recipes? Because you we're use, like, Learning. That's you a do good want question. it to take a little longer? I'm going to tell you about these. You can see these soap you can do this reaction right at 120 degrees. It will go very quickly. Uh, um, but we'll, we'll try to keep this below 100 so degrees so. to yes. slow the reaction down to give us time to oh, mix everything and okay. teach points as we go along. So okay. we don't want this to go any higher than but 
We'll try to keep it at 100. I think everything will smell at 100. Cool. Right. That smells good. Right? Two rose moss. Oh, yeah. Are you guys going to fly to Hawaii? I was thinking about swimming. What? You should go on a yacht. <laughs> that would take forever. And you know what? Um, because of 9-11. Um, <laughs> this is about 100. This is about 90. So the oils are at 100 degrees and the um, lye is at about 90 degrees. Which one is the lion? So That's this could really be a time for the two process waiting for these stupid things to come to the right place. Yes. <laughs> so basically you got to fit the oil to the lye because you don't have much control over it. Right, exactly. You ha absolutely have to fit the oil to the lye. Have you ever got an eye on your nose? No. No. We don't want to either. <laughs> when I soak, my lye will usually be in the 60 to 70. Because you do it slower. Because I do it a lot slower. All right, so you um, tore out. Well, I still need that bucket. Why? So nice and slow. So you're pouring, but um, not stirring. I'm pouring it on the oil. The blender. The device on the blender, which oh. kind of moves it around. You give it a little whirl and get it going like that. So you pour. And I don't know why, but somebody told me to do it like this. Not to turn it off. So we're going to blend this to what they call very light trace. Um, That's the part you need to actually show me. Yeah. Okay. Can I borrow some sauces? Thank you, Steve. And we're just gonna. Make sure you can see there's, I don't know what you would call it, differences. Mm -hmm. in yeah, they're not quite yeah. We're just going to hit this to a point where it's just about blended together. But not too much more because we've got a lot of stuff to do to it. I like that. So they call it a um, melted milkshake. Melted milkshake. Okay. Consistency. Now we tear the bucket. And it was twenty six fifty eight, so I just halved it. And we're gonna put half in here, and we're gonna leave half in the bucket. Thin pudding. Okay. It's getting thick already. Would you say thirteen? Thirteen twenty nine. So you do the hagging by weight. Okay. All right, so we're going to put two of you on this one after we break those. And two, and we're going to have to work kind of quickly because it's already starting to thicken. Okay. All right, so one person is going to do white and one person is going to do purple. purple. Okay. Jordan, where are you? Dump it in. White. This should be white. Okay. Right, let's we start with spatula. the spatula. Scoop that out of there. I'll take that stuff. Okay. Mm. Yeah, don't touch it with your fingers. Pretty color. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, you always want to wait and put it in the fragrance at the very end. It's the last thing you do because fragrance has a tendency to make this stuff trace really fast. Really fast. What does that mean? And that means it's it getting it thicker. Go. See how it's getting thicker See how it blob up? Well, from when you started, do you, does it feel thicker to you than it was before? Yeah. Yeah, that's tracing. And you don't ever want to use a step blender ah, we're good. when you're we're done. Uh, putting in your fragrance. Okay. So. We just want to make this an, a nice even color all the way to the bottom. I don't know if it's going to go all the way down. Huh? Both at the same exact time. Otherwise, we do? yeah. Otherwise, the board will, will get pushed. Oh, will get pushed. Oh, great sky. So. The goggles. Can I have a pair of goggles? Yeah, right down there at the end of the counter. Yeah. Okay. You ready? All right. So start at one end and start pouring at the same time. One, two, Try and match three, each other. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Probably I'd let him lead, huh? <laughs> Are you ready for spatulas? I think so. Yeah, I think I was a 
was efficient. No, you're good. I just went too fast. It's almost like a plum color. Let's go over this way. All right, now if you come over here, you kind can see um, up the underneath is. there, there's um, a bit of a gap. So see if you can push some down inside there. And then we're going to kind of shake the whole thing out. You ready, babe? Oh, my. You still have a ton, hon. What happened? I didn't want to come out. Now, yes, what about disposal of any extra stuff? Huh? It all. I just dump it right into the trash. Okay. And the thing with um, your materials after you're done, you want to try and get as much of that goop gone before you put it in the water to wash it. Because it's very hard to, to to wash water and oil, as you know. Yeah. Don't yeah. mix. We still have the plus you have the lye in there. Yeah. So the lye at this point is has to season itself out, right? Yes. Mm. That, Actually, it didn't. It, that did a real nice trace. You guys have been able to play with this for a really long time. Okay, so that's not normal. I got to this point really quick, which is good. I mean, you can work with this, right? It's like plaster or something. Oh, yeah. So I can see how you did the froth now. See a little bit of white, and then did the... Did you do it at the same time you did the other stuff for the... I, I think so. Tsunami soap? Who did that? Is that Audrey. Audrey. Audrey yeah, it's the that. cutest soap ever. Grace left her. All right, now. Okay. At this point, you have to shake it down um, to get all the air bubbles. Some more gloves. I just wash it off. I mean, when I clean, I definitely, definitely wear gloves. All right, and then this part is the hardest part. This part I've never had come out right yet. So fingers crossed. Oh, is this the point? Yep, this is where we're going to pull this up. So you ready to give it a try? Sure. You're just going to pull straight up. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I've already given you a hindrance. Yeah. There we go. Do you want to... And the scraper, the spatula down there? Or? Yeah. I can't... Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Perfect. And then you're just going to pull it straight up. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move Coming together. It's too thick. It's too thick. This is a hard soap to make. Yeah, this is a tea strainer. And then we're gonna. Oh. We're gonna do this. Did you tear it up in there? No. Okay. All right. Okay. Now stand at this end. Everybody, back up and blow. Close your eyes and blow. <coughs> okay. Oh yeah. Oh wow. This and then sheen do it, the same it? thing on that side. See how it makes it all shimmery? Shimmery. <laughs> that is so cool. That is very, very cool. Okay, I need a paper towel so I can wipe those little or actually your fencing thing. Alright. Wow, is that done? It's done. Wow. You're done? Um, now do we spray that? Yes. Spritz the top, set your timer for 30 minutes. 